Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Simulink and MATLAB. Today in this tutorial of Simulink, we will study how to plot RAM, parabola and sine function. First of all, we will revise their mathematical representation and then we will implement them in Simulink. Now if you look at the table, the table represents various test inputs commonly used in control system and among these we will implement step, RAM, parabola and sine function. Now we know that step function is represented by u of t and have value of 1 for time t greater than 0 and similarly ram function is t u of t and have value of present time t for time greater or equal to 0 otherwise it's 0 like step function and similarly parabola is half t square u of t and sine function is sine omega t where omega is the frequency of oscillation. Now here we can relate step ramp and parabola like RAM function is integral of step function and similarly parabolic function is integral of RAM function. Now we will implement these using Simulink. Now we have opened Simulink library browser and we will start implementing with RAM function, then parabolic function and afterwards sine function. For RAM function we know that if you open the category of Simulink and then subcategory of sources you will find the block of RAM function. You will right click on this and you will add this to a new model and a new untitled model window will open and the ram function block will be there now for its plot you will add a scope which you can find in the categories of simulink in sync and you will again add this to the new uh, new model now if you open the untitled model both blocks will be present you will just connect them and run the simulation with the help of the green button and if you double click on the scope you will find your desired graph on the top bar of the scope you will find various options like first one is print then is parameters the third one is zoom or zoom x-axis and zoom y-axis and then auto scale now for the adjustment of graph we will use auto scale and you will see the whole graph on the screen and this will be the plot of RAM function which will represent time t greater or equal to 0. Now we will implement the parabolic function which is equal to half t square u of t. Now again for this we will open the Simulink library browser and will look for parabolic function. Now if you look at the sources you won't find parabolic block. Now we will use the search option and will look for the block of parabola. On searching we found that there is no block of parabola so we will implement this mathematically. Now we know that parabolic function is equal to half t square u of t and the ram function is t u of t or we can say that if we integrate the ram function which will be integrating t u of t will give us the result of half t square u of t. So for implementation in Simulink we will add a block of integrator to the ram function and we will get the result of parabolic function. Now again we will open the Simulink library browser and for the block of integrator we will look into the subcategory of continuous system and we will find a block of integrator. Now again we will add this to the model untitled. Now we will disconnect the ramp and scope function and add the integrator block in between ramp and scope and will connect the ramp block to the integrator and the output of integrator will be of parabolic function. Now for plot we will connect this output to the scope and will simulate the simulation. Now double clicking on the scope you will find the graph of parabolic function which you can adjust with the help of auto scale option. Now we will plot the sine function. For this we will again open the Simulink library browser and look for the block of sine function which you can find in the tab of sources. Now if you right click on the block of sine function and add block to the untitled model. Now for the plot of sine function we will add another scope to our model. Now we will open the file of untitled model and make adjustment and we will connect the sine function block with another scope which have a title of scope 1 and again we will play the simulation and for the plot of sine function we will double click on the scope 1 and will have plot of sine function here. 
Now this was all about the plotting ramp function, parabolic function and sine function. Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more updates.